I mean, that's what it's all about. Uh, you go out there, you play as a team, and you try to do your best so that you can win all the games and be in first place. And um, that's what's most important. Um, obviously, individually, I've been playing well, but being in first place is way more important than anything that I can do individually. So that's all that matters. Uh, gave us a lot of confidence because both of those arenas, nobody had won in before. Um, so for us to be able to go there and get two wins against two tough teams on their home courts was big for us and our confidence. And it only helped us gel and get closer together and move forward and, and become the team that we want to be. It didn't It didn't hit me yet. Like I, I've seen the highlights every time somebody sends it to me on Instagram or Twitter or something, I watch it. But it still hasn't sunk in and uh, really hit me, I guess. I don't know. I just feel like it was a good game, but we got to move on and keep getting better. So I'm sure after the season or when everything is more calm, I'll go back and look back on it and be like, this is actually really crazy that I, that I did this. But um, right now I'm just really focused on the team, focused on trying to win more games and focused on trying to continue to have a great season. Well, when he took me out the game, I think I had 38 points and he was telling me to sit down, take a rest. Um, and I was looking at the clock and I was like, there's four minutes left and I need three three points to tie the record and four points to, to, to break the record. And I was saying to him, forget water, forget resting. I, I want to get this record. I want to I wanna break this. And then he was just telling me to relax, get a drink of water. I'm pressing too much. That's why I'm missing my shots. Uh, so just to relax. And um, then he called me back in the game and he said, I'm going to call the place for you to get the record. Just don't worry. Go out there and don't force it and you'll get it. And uh, eventually it worked out that way and um, yeah, everything turned out well. I mean, a lot of people have reached out. A lot of my old teammates, a lot of people I played with back home, a lot of people from former teams here. Uh, there's been a lot of um, a lot of people that have reached out, a lot of people that show me a lot of love, some veteran guys from EuroLeague, NBA. Um, so it's been nice. It's been really a good feeling to see those guys witnessing and, and giving me props for what I've done and what I've accomplished. Um, but the best messages that I can get out from my close family members, just my mom, dad, sisters, girlfriend, assistant, all the people that really matter to me, those are the people I do this for. So um, that's what all really matters. With the way the game is being played now, there's a lot of guys that can score a lot of points. And, you know, on some of those nights where the first shot goes in, second shot goes in, they definitely have the chance to go and break it. But um, I try to put a little distance between the 41 and – Hopefully mine stands for, for a very long time. Uh, it feels great. You know, Voss is a, a great player. He can do a lot of things on the court. He can pass, he can shoot, he can defend, he can post up. So it's really easy to go out there and play with him. Um, and I think the last two years we've kind of figured out how to play together and he can be successful and I can be successful at the same time. And obviously we're two of the important guys on the team that helped us get to that Final Four last year. So. With another year under our belts, we're just going to continue to get better, continue to grow, continue to grow as a team and individually, and hopefully uh, instead of losing that last game, we can win that one. Just how you have to go about your everyday life, how you have to prepare, how you have to take your craft seriously. You know, I was a young kid growing up seeing my dad go to the arena and I wasn't able to see him all day and I wasn't able to see him during the summer and I wasn't able to see him a lot because he was always working, always trying to get better so that he could provide for his family and um, actually as a young kid I didn't understand it I didn't really get it and it, it really frustrated me not being able to see my dad as much but now I'm in a similar position and I can understand all the things that he did to be able to be an elite athlete be an elite player and all the sacrifices that he had to make going early staying late extra batting practice extra fielding all the things that he did to be a great player all the things that I try to take to my game and try to be able to grow and get to a level where I'm playing at the top level. You know, I've never been that close to a championship in my professional career and to be four minutes away from one and not be able to pull it out obviously frustrates you and obviously gives you that grind and that that motivation to go out there and play hard in every single game, focus on getting better so that when you come to these moments, when you come to the playoffs, you're in a great situation in order to continue to get to where you want to get to. And I think everybody this year will be much better and we'll have much more experience in these situations. And if we get there this year, um, you know, I'm sure that everybody on the team will have that much more motivation and determination to, to finish those last four minutes strong and be a champion instead of a runner up. We obviously have a lot of talent. We obviously have a great system. We obviously have uh, a great chemistry here. 
So I think now we just all have to buy in. We all have to be focused. We all have to take it every day, game game by game, and try to put ourselves in the, a great position in the playoffs where we can play at home and have home court advantage and then advance to the Final Four and then just take those ser those matchups very seriously. But the, the most important thing for us is to not look ahead because if we start looking ahead and assuming that we're going to make it to the Final Four, then we can start losing the games here, three, four games. And then you know what? how competitive this year has been. Uh, you could fall back and not be in a great place and have a, a tougher road to the Final Four. So we just got to stay focused, stay together, continue to work hard every single day, take every day as a chance to get better. And uh, if we do that, I'm sure with our motivation, with our chemistry, with our talent, um, we can win that final game.